Let me tell you about my first year law students. They have this thing called the technical skills exam. It comes about halfway during the first semester of law school. It's a grammar test. So they start out and they're not too worried about it. It's some distance away. And all of a sudden, it starts to get close and they go, ah, what will I do, what will I do? I try to help them, but I'm not a grammarian. I don't love grammar. I used to hate those little grammar books, the little blocky things that like weights you had to carry around. But run-on sentences is what we have to talk about today, and run-ons are hard. And I have to try to help you with them. I try to help my kids, <laughs> kids at law school, and we find that run-ons are hard to get rid of. So if you don't have a problem with run-ons, shut this off, go home, go out and play. You're lucky. <clears throat> but for the rest of us, run-on sentences. Here we go. The first problem, of course, is that my students don't want me to do grammar talk. They don't know what nouns and verbs are and all that stuff, and they start rolling their eyes when I talk about it, and they ask me for one of those bags you get on the airplane so you can throw up, you know. Or I could talk about complete thoughts. That's what they used to do. But I find with my sons, to tell you the truth, that the generation grown up on Sesame Street and music videos doesn't have complete thoughts very often. They want to leap off in a new direction. That, that reminds me of something. Let's click on this over here, this kind of thing. Run-ons are a real problem, though, a real problem. And if you don't master them, you won't get that great job that you want, and you'll burn in hell forever. So we've got to fix you up and do something about run-ons. Now, can I make it simple? That's the question. Yeah, I think I can. It's the difference between one and two. <laughs> this is one. <laughs> this is two. <laughs> Let's say it all together. <laughs> this is one. This is two. A sentence is one sentence. It's just a sentence. That's one. A run-on sentence is two sentences. One and two. We can do this, don't you think? <laughs> examples, examples, examples. That's what I tell everybody. We have to have examples. I'm going to give you a, com a complicated run-on sentence, and we're going to show you that it's not one, it's two. Being kind is important if you want people to like you. It does not seem so important if you're beautiful. Being kind is important if you want people to like you. That's one sentence. It does not seem so important if you're beautiful. That's a sentence too. That's two sentences. The challenge to put the ball in the basket is tough. It doesn't seem so difficult if you're seven and a half feet tall challenge to put the ball in the basket is tough. That's one sentence. That's one. Doesn't seem so difficult if you're seven and a half feet tall. That's two. I'm okay. It's the car that's messed up. <laughs> Don't tell me that when you come home. I'm okay. That's a sentence. It's the car that's messed up. That's two. Two sentences right there. When the doctor asked me what was wrong, I said, I'm always tired. He suggested sleep. <laughs> nice thought. When the doctor asked me what was wrong, I said I was always tired. That's a good sentence. That's one. He suggested sleep. Perfectly good sentence. That's two. There's no place to park in Lowell at 10.30 a.m. on a school day. Many people still try it. There's no place to park in Lowell at 10.30 on a school day. That's a sentence. Perfectly good sentence. Many people still try it. That's two. You're getting the idea, right? Hmm. Who said only winners are remembered and rewarded in America? That's a sentence. The Red Sox sell out every year. Each of those is a sentence by itself. Who said winners are only rewarded and remembered in America? The Red Sox sell it every year. Two sentences. Brains, charm, and good looks will get you far in life. Middlesex Community College looks for a rarer thing called hard work. Brains, charm, and good looks will get you far in life. That's a sentence. A good sentence. Middlesex Community College looks for a much rarer thing called hard work. Two sentences. You've almost had enough. A couple more. Professor Pierce has been known to give an A once or twice. 
That's a sentence. He's only been here 10 years, after all. So, Professor Brissett was known to give an A one or, one or two times in those things. That's a sentence. He's only been here 10 years, after all. So, hopefully we'll have a few more in the next 10. It's nice that America lets people make six-figure salaries. Six minutes of fireworks for the kids on the 4th of July might be nice, too. It's nice that America lets people make six-figure salaries. Good sentence. Six minutes of fireworks for the kids on the 4th of July might be nice, too. That's true sentences. Last one. English courses at MCC are an important part of life. <laughs> they help you to learn one, two. So you've got it, right? That's two sentences. English courses at MCC are an important part of life. They help you to learn one, two. All right, so how do we fix this? We've got a big problem. How do we fix it? There are three ways that you can fix a run-on sentence. The first one is, make it into two sentences, it already is. Get a period and a capital in there, change it into two sentences, you're fine. That's the way I want you to do it, almost always. Almost always. Second way you can fix it. You remember our old friends, comma, but, and comma, and. You can put a comma, but, or a comma, and in the middle where the First sentence ends and the second one starts, comma, but, comma, and, and that'll work too on many occasions. That's not so bad. You can do that once in a while so that it'll make you feel powerful and sexy. Three, you can use a semicolon. This you will never do. <laughs> You're an army sergeant, you shall never do this. You should never use a semicolon. We're going to go over the sentences again quickly and show you how we fix them up, okay? First one. Being kind is important if you want people to like you. You put a period and a capital I there, see? It doesn't seem so important if you're beautiful. Second one, the challenge to put the ball in the basket is tough, period. Capital I, it doesn't seem so difficult if you're seven and a half feet tall. All we're doing is recognizing that there are two sentences and we're fixing them up, making them two sentences. I'm okay, exclamation point, I'm okay. It's the car that's messed up, we put a capital, we fixed it up, two sentences, no problem. When the doctor asked me what was wrong, I said, I'm always tired. He suggested sleep. That's two, we put a period after tired, and a capital H with he, he suggested sleep. We made two sentences. All right, let's try something different. There's no place to park in Lowell at 10.30 a.m. on a school day, comma, but many people still try it. Let's try that. So we take that sentence, two sentences, and we put that comma but right in there. No place to park in a school day, comma, but many people still try it. Who said winners are, only winners are rewarded and remembered in America? Put a question mark, you might even get away with the period. The Red Sox sell out every year. Capital T for the red fact. That works, we have two sentences. Brains, charm, and good looks will get you far in life. Try comma, but. The Middlesex Community College looks for a much rarer thing called hard work. So we put, you see, we put a comma, but in there between the first sentence and the second one. Comma, but does it, and that's okay too. Professor Pierce has been known to give an A once or twice only been here 10 years after all. Period, we'll put after twice. Capital H, he's only been here 10 years after all. Two sentences. It's nice that America lets people make six-figure salaries, and we'll put a comma there, and how about but? But six minutes of fireworks for the kids on the 4th of July might be nice too. So we have, it's nice America lets people make all that money, comma, but six minutes of fireworks for the kids would be nice if we had fireworks on the too, right? Two sentences. And of course, the most important one, English courses at MCC are an important part of life. Let's put a period there and start with a capital T. They help you to learn. One, two. English courses at MCC are an important part of life, period. They help you to learn one, two. The difference between one sentence and two, right? What else do I want to say? 
You know, the thing about semicolons is that most of my students want to learn correct, basic English. That means that simple sentences are fine and we don't use semicolons. Of course, if you come back to me now as a junior at the university and we want to be elegant and advanced rather than simple and basic, we might fool with semicolons a little or complicated sentences. But even my law students, they really need to have a chance to talk to somebody simply and straightforwardly. And that's what we're doing. Simple sentences are fine. Forget semicolons. One, two. One sentence, two sentences, comma, but. The world is at your feet. Congratulations.